and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, most Bob. Most humble guys in the world, too. That's exactly right. Today we're going to talk about how to fix elbow pain. We got one cell, simple self-treatment, only takes 90 seconds. That's right, Who doesn't Bob. have 90 seconds? And it's for both tennis and golfer's elbow. So it doesn't matter which one you have, right. we're going to cover them all. The concept the same, just a little bit different mechanics. Uh, and that would go on, Bob. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, go to bobandbrad.com. Are we giving away the massager, Mike? Mike oh. says we're giving away the handheld massager, Brad. Okay. You can actually use that on tennis elbow, too. Yeah, we could work with that a little bit. We'll maybe show a little bit of that later. Yeah, be careful with that, Bob. Oh, yeah, we will put down. All right, you can also find the contest pinned to the top page at Facebook. Go to Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. We're actually getting on Zen too. Zen, yeah. Zen and the art of Z-Y-N-N. motorcycle maintenance. All right, Brad. Okay. Take it away. So golfer's elbow, tennis elbow, uh, lateral epicondylitis, medial epicondylitis, medically speaking. Uh, but it's elbow pain. Um, you know, if you fall and you land on concrete, that elbow pain is completely different. Yeah. Uh, that you need a cold pack for. Right. What we're talking about is these elbow pains that come from repetitive motion uh, or you aggressively go do a task. Like the other weekend, I, I, I ran the chainsaw for sure. a couple hours. I hardly ever do that. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, I got that. some elbow pain as a result of that. Well, um, golf, if you actually like hit the ground really hard oh, you know oh. by mistake you'd never do that yeah, yeah that <laughs> happens a lot um you're really doing a jarring motion to that yeah that elbow so you're what you're doing is you're tearing some tendons right by the bone and the elbow or the tennis elbow you know is on the outside here near this bone and there's typically a really tender spot right where they connect and golfer's elbow is this the opposite side there's a tender spot right there and one thing we should explain is the muscles in the forearm actually attach to that bone sure on this side and the extensor wad they call it yep that they attach on this side so you got muscles all the way along here yep. that are attaching to that bone muscles all the way along here attaching to this bone all right so before you do this technique i know people are going to say 90 seconds why did it take 10 minutes because we have to explain how right. to do it you properly. have to understand it it's not going to work unless you do it properly but you so if i've got tennis elbow i, I check here and i'm going to go up in here i'm going to palpate or feel in these muscles you're probably going to find a real tight knotty painful muscle group in there uh, so just assess that and see how tender it is and how tight it is same thing bob's going to do the golfer's elbow so i'm checking on the underside i guess you'd be of the the forearm yep or the inside however you want to coin it but um i'm looking for tender spots along in yeah. here um, and you could actually massage that area but this is much easier and faster than than the massage. Now we're going to get a what they call positional release. It was ca called strain counter strain a number of years ago. Uh, works very well. Now, if you've got tennis elbow, this is the mechanics you're going to do. You're going to, and I do mine, you know, in my recliner, I have a pillow. You can do a lying down yep, in bed. Yep, you can do that as well. With the tennis elbow, you're going to bring your hand back like this. So the elbow is bent. Yep, the elbow is bent. Bring this back like this, and then I'm going to rotate. If my thumb is pointing towards my face, I'm going to rotate it away. But you're going to go back and forth until you find the most comfortable position possible. Um, so you know, you may do a little bit of, you know, this is a general position you're in, but you may do some fine tuning, and you'll find it where it feels the most comfortable in that painful spot. And then you're going to hold it right there for 90 seconds. And you're going to do this when it's nice and quiet and you relax. It's not when the kids are running around jumping on your lap and that kind of thing for, for family people. And make sure it's 90 seconds. Yeah, you got to look at a clock. And yeah. they, always, they say a minimum of 90 seconds. You can go up to 120 seconds. Uh, so I'm going to do that. That would and be two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. We got our math down. And then it's important when you're done, let it come off slowly and relax. You're not going to aggressively stretch it. You're not going to go work on something. Uh, if you're going to do the golfer's elbow, you're it's not going to go golfing afterwards. Yeah, it's actually opposite for the golfer's yeah. elbow. So the, he went this way for tennis elbow. I'm actually going to go this way. Right. So I got the wrist bent, elbow bent, 
and now I'm going to turn it. Also, fingers are going out. Yeah, but yeah. again, you're going to rotate it back and forth and find yeah. the most comfortable position. Now, I, I can't relate to this right now because I don't have any tennis elbow right. or a golfer's elbow, but I had some hip pain. Brad did this when we did this with my hip. Yeah. And you could tell when they hit the right spot, Yeah, it was comfortable. I yeah. mean, it was like, no, that hurts, that hurts. No, that feels good. Right. So you really so, feel what spot feels the best. And then once I find it, I, I can actually go down like this. Yeah, wh wherever, wherever you have that comfortable yeah. feeling, you know, maybe and there, it varies in how your pillow is situated and right. your injury is. Uh, but then you're going to hold it like that. 90 seconds, relaxed, just chill out for 90 seconds. And then when you're done, you open it up slowly. It slowly. Yeah. Bring if you want to do slowly. some massage, gentle massage on the muscles afterwards, you can do that. But don't do anything aggressive. Don't go out and, like I said, golf again. Or and That's uh, where the massager comes in handy. These handheld massagers are really good for smaller muscles like this. Yeah. Uh, now, also, if you're a, a slight, slightly built person. Thin, you know, yeah, you don't have a lot of muscle. You probably want to even use this instead of a massage gun. They're very inexpensive. That's what I like about them, Brad. And yet they come with five different heads you can put on there. And you can you can work that muscle right. quite easily. Now, be careful. You definitely don't want to go up by that bone where it's tender because that's just going to irritate yeah. the living, uh, yeah, you, the, you, you living age out of it. You won't be happy with it. You want to keep it in the muscle belly where it feels good and you're getting that... Uh, Getting that out a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I'll take care of your tennis elbow. All right. So, very good. Now, it, the other thing is, as you do that, do it three times a day. I know. Oh, sure. I, don't, I didn't even have to do it that often on mine. I didn't have a severe case either time, but uh, it was worked so well, I forgot about it, and I forgot to do the next season. <laughs> I'm serious. It was, a, it was a good deal. It, it helped my hip, too. I was surprised, and I kind of, same thing, I kind of forgot you, you about it. You didn't do it three times a day because you forgot no, about it. No, I did it once, and I, <laughs> yeah. and I, uh, I, you know, I didn't feel it much anymore when I was doing my foam rolling. Oh, so, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I, I'm amazed. I, I wish I had learned this tech this uh, much earlier in my therapy career because sure. I would use it a lot more patients. So, sure. uh, you know, it's all the way life kind of falls into place. Yeah. Remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything except for a broken heart. That's exactly right. But so we'll work on yeah. that too. And then maybe, maybe this baby will have something. Maybe there's to do. a positional uh, relief. Yeah, this is going to work, Bob. All I can right. tell. Yeah. Oh. All right.